What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually in my kitchen, not the same location downstairs in my basement with my fish tank and my fish tank room. And today I'm going to show you my recipe for homemade coral and fish food. So what I'm using are some cubed mysis shrimp, raw shrimp, I'm gonna have to peel these, some frozen krill, scallops, mussels, frozen bloodworms, frozen silver sides, and then I'm going to put in some spirulina powder, some Kent garlic extreme, some Vitachem, some vitamins, nori, some reefroids, a little uh, RODI water just to make sure that it's the right consistency and I'm going to mix that all up into this food processor. So uh, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm laying all the frozen food thaw out for about an hour. I don't want to put the frozen shrimp and krill and scallops and what have you into that food processor and damage it, so I'm going to let these things thaw out. Um, I'm also going to break them up to make sure um, I cut them up into small enough pieces that I get them into the food processor. So let's get to uh, that part of the project. Okay, first up is the raw shrimp. This is going to be a pain in the ass because i got to shell them. Alright, so I peeled all those shrimp. Let me tell you, that was not a lot of fun. So, next thing I'm going to do is um, take these mussels out of the shells. And finishing up with the mussels. Okay. There you go. Put these out here. Now the uh, scallops are going to be a little easier for me to prepare. <laughs> Get these uh, out of the bag. So really, you know, the good thing about all this is you could really buy some cheap seafood at the grocery store. This is um, not expensive stuff in terms of the scallops that I purchased. The um, mussels and the shrimp. So what I do is break out the silver sides. Said these have been defrosting for about an hour or so. So they'll be really easy to break up in terms of chunks. Quite a smorgasbord here. Boy these fish are gonna be happy. up is the uh, frozen blood worms and the really cool thing about doing this this afternoon is that my wife is taking a nap so she is not uh, watching me mess up our kitchen if you know what I mean Bust these up into chunks here. Again, put them out in the, uh, the platter. Lay it all out before I get it into the food processor. And these are all nice smaller uh, chunks. Frozen krill. That's pretty nice and defrosted there. these things over. Okay, so the last thing I got to do is uh, pop these mice of shrimp out of the uh, little uh, containers there. I'm going to make sure I do that carefully because don't want uh, that tin foil to get in with the mixer.
Okay, so that pretty much does it for the uh, for the frozen food. I'm gonna hit the food processor. So, pretty much have um, chopped up most of the seafood. I am going to, um, got most of it right now on this bowl right here, and then I'm going to add in the dry ingredients, the Vitacam, a little RODI water, some of the powders, and uh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to add one tablespoon of this spirulina powder. Half a bottle of this um, Kent Garlic Extreme, and boy, you can smell it's garlic. Woo! Yeah. Good thing the wife is still asleep. What a mess. Reef Roids. Tablespoon of that. I'm going to do a whole bottle of the Vitacam. Yummy. Little uh, RODI water. Add maybe more if need be. Now the fun part, mixing it up. <sighs> yeah, yummy. And you can feel this is still uh, pretty frozen. So that's good. Don't want to like defrost the uh, all the seafood and have it totally defrosted and sitting out for hours on end will go bad. So I think just having it defrosted for like an hour was um, was pretty good. There you go. So now it's going to uh, be time to get it into the bags. All right, so I'm just going to put them in some Ziploc bags here and scoop. Container out here. I think that'll be good. Put it in the bag. So this stuff is pretty green, but I did put a lot of the, uh, the spirulina powder in there. So you want to make sure that the air is out of there. You want to also flatten her down. You don't want it too thick. That's one. So, this is a messy project, I will say that. And, um, but you know. I think I've made enough food for months and months and months here. And you save money. You know, the prepared foods you can buy are uh, can be expensive. They get add up over time. So buying the, uh, the stuff at the supermarket is a great economical way to uh, make your own coral and fish food. Get to pick, cherry pick your ingredients. And you could obviously... Um, Change the formula over time. All right, and here's the final product. I got seven quart bags out of that, so I'm gonna put them in the freezer and um, feed them to the coral and fish, and we'll see what the reaction is. But uh, I guess now it's 
time to clean up here, and good thing my wife is uh, still taking a nap, so maybe I can get it done before she wakes up. Well, folks, many thanks for watching. I appreciate the view. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please uh, subscribe. I'll put the ingredients in the video description below, and um, I'm also having a little bit of fun with the name. I'm calling this uh, Reef Bum Chum. I'm not selling it online, but I made some really cool t-shirts, so if you want to pick one up, you'll support the channel. I really appreciate that. Anyway, um, I will also put some links in the video description below for my Reef Keeping Masterclass. It's a really cool, interactive, immersive, online educational experience. And I'll also put a link in the uh, description below for my SPS Frag Store. Many thanks again. Adios. See you next time.